Hello, this is SD, and we are going to uh, attempt to continue the cycle today. Um, last time out, we managed to beat Slug C, my favorite ship in the game. We're now going to what is probably my least favorite ship in the game, which is Federation C. Um, Fed C is not a ship that I have much success with. In fact, it is. Since I started tracking my games through the FTL Save Manager, this is the only ship I have a losing record with. Hopefully, if we win today, it'll get to 50-50. Um, notably, I lost my longest ever win streak of 25 while playing this ship. But that was entirely due to misplays on my part, and I think if I played that run now, I would win. But... Um, this ship is a boarding ship. It has a teleporter and uh, artillery system, which, I mean, right out of the ba bat, the artillery system is bad, like all the Federation artillery systems. It doesn't synergize with boarding at all, and it means you can't get hacking and cloaking. It's impossible. You already have two systems installed. So the ships this is most similar to... The ship this is most similar to is probably Mantis B, because, you know, it's a boarding ship that starts with no weapons and can't get both hacking and cloaking. So those are the, those are the, the areas where it's similar. The difference is... Mantis B does actually at least have relatively formidable defenses to start with. I mean, it's it's weak because your repair is terrible and you have specific, you know, the defensive drone as a blind spot and things like that. But you do still start with four shields and a defensive drone, so you're reasonably decent at not taking, like, enormous amounts of damage, except against very specific enemies. And there are specific things that can screw you over. You also have a four-tile teleporter, so, you know, once you start getting more crew, you can roll. Uh, Fed C doesn't have any of those defensive bonuses, and it doesn't have a four-person teleporter either. So it kind of struggles. It's a ship that's very easy to just take loads and loads of damage on. Um, the way I think about boarding ships is I think boarding ships have like three opponents that they need to be able to overcome and how good the ship is in terms of the early game and all of how good the ships are in my opinion just sort of deals with how well they deal with these three opponent types so the first is an enemy that has um both weapons that can hurt you and a med bay or a, or a clone bay because you know if an enemy has dangerous weapons but no medical unit you can just rush them down and kill them and if they have a medical unit but no weapons that can hurt you well you can take your time and use distraction tactics that kind of thing but if they have both that sort of double threat that can really really get you into trouble that's what ended my 25 streak is a ship with an artemis missile and a level 2 med bay and i misread the fight and i took it when i should have just run um the um this ship struggles really, really badly with those types of ships. I think it struggles worse than any other boarding ship because you have no targeted damage at all. The nearest, you know, things like Slug B, which aren't particularly strong boarding ships, you have a, you, you know, you have a, a missile. You know, Mantis A has a bomb. Even Mantis C has a stun bomb that can do something. Um, Crystal B has your lockdown power, so you can just break stuff. This ship has nothing. It has a flak artillery that's both extremely slow and you can't tell it where to go. It's completely worthless for knocking specific systems offline. Um, then the other types of ships that you have to pro have problems with are Zoltan Shield enemies. Um, this ship struggles quite badly with enemies with Zoltan Shields. You obviously can't board an enemy with a Zoltan Shield. Now, you're better off than, say, Crystal B that can't hurt those ships at all, or Mantis B. But this flak artillery takes 50 seconds to fire, and it's not even guaranteed to fully take a Zoltan Shield down, because it fires seven shots. They might dodge three of them. It's not terribly likely, but I've seen it happen. And just actually waiting for the 50 seconds, if they've got a weapon that can actually hurt you, you're in huge trouble. Um... And yeah, it takes a very long time to get through that. Then finally, there's auto scouts. That is the one type of enemy Fed C actually does deal well with. The emergency respirators that you have mean that you can board an enemy system and do five points of damage on before your crew suffocate. If you use the Mantis or the Human, which you should. The intended gimmick of this ship is that you board with the Zoltans and have them explode and then clone in the in the clone bay. That doesn't work. Don't do that. So. Yeah, in terms of the three types of enemies that you can kind of struggle with as a boarding ship, this is either the worst or one of the worst at two of the three, and that's a real problem, especially since I'd say the med bay and missile ship, um, well, not necessarily med bay and missile ships, just med bay and dangerous weapon ships, they're the most common of those enemy types. 
so you struggle most with them of any of those types, and I think that makes this the weakest boarding ship in the game. But, um, enough preamble, let's go on. Okay, we have a store. We also have three... Um... Nebula jumps. Nebula jumps are not too bad, because nebula jumps are more likely to be auto-scouts, and as mentioned, this ship doesn't do too badly with auto-scouts. Now, this ship wants to get shields up absolutely as soon as possible, just to stop the endless scratch damage that you take. Now, there is a store, though, so maybe we want to take these three nebula jumps and then go to the store. Like, I'm, I'm loath to sell the emergency respirators, but on the other hand, you could sell them and get your shields up, and then you'd be a lot safer. It makes you weaker against auto ships, but safer against everything else. I would tend to start with the Zoltan in sensor so you can see what's going on and then run them to engines. The About the only real good thing with this ship defensively, because you have two Zoltans, if an enemy has an ion weapon, you can run the two Zoltans into shield and then you're safe. But you can't always do that. I wouldn't mind being able to hit the Distress Beacon, but it's Distress Beacon or the Nebula Jumps, and I think we have to go with the percentages and go with the Nebula Jumps. Hopefully we get like a Teleporter Blue option right out of the gate and get more crew. Anyway, let's make sure everything is tracking, and then we will start this. Okay, we can risk this, we have a Clumb Bay. We got the bad option, but whatever. Our crew don't have any skills to lose, so that's just free scrap. It's just, it could have been better stuff than that. Okay, we've got an auto ship, and this ship can't hurt us. Good. This is the kind of enemy you want to see. So put two Zoltans in here. And we are now completely safe. We could grind skill on our human and our mantis and make them like pilots, but I don't want to do that because they're going to die over and over and over again. So I'm going to just board. We'll start smashing stuff up. Our missile artillery, our missile artillery, our black artillery will also slowly win us the battle. But yeah, let's put you two here. And this ion hits my shields and does absolutely nothing. So yeah, we've broken both of those systems before our crew died because of the emergency respirators. And there's a chance that our artillery flak will kill them with this shot, and if it doesn't, we'll just board them again. It probably won't because it's firing at narrow rooms and flak really struggles to hit those. But it might. It actually did, cool. Nice, we got a double reward. Early double rewards are very, very valuable on this ship. Um, do I now want to get my shields up, or do I just... Do I greed for the store? I mean, if I sell emergency respirators, I have 58 scrap. That doesn't really do anything for me other than getting my shields up, which is the thing that I'm delaying anyway. Now, I could get scrap at the next jump, but I might not. If I get one payout, I would have at most 19 extra, which would get me to 52, then another 25. That still doesn't get me enough to get anything. I'd, I mean, I could get a small bomb if it was there, or like a cheap weapon like an ion blast. That's valuable, but probably not as valuable as just getting shields up. I think I'm going to just do that. I have definitely lost runs very early with this ship because I just fight something really brutal before I get two shields, and I really want to avoid having that happen given that I'm on a long win streak. Okay, this enemy would be more dangerous if it weren't a low power battle, but it is, so hooray. We don't know what crew they have over there, but I don't mind. I want to just board. I don't want to damage any of their systems because I don't want them to bring this other laser up. Let's board into one of these side rooms, make them come fight me, 
I'll start hitting them. They have an anti-personnel drone, but it doesn't matter. Like, they don't have a medical unit, so frankly, they can... I'll put you in shields, actually. Frankly, we can lose this and just keep going back over there over and over and over again. We are completely safe. In fact, we'll deliberately do that. Well, my guys. We might have to do this like twice more, but doesn't it doesn't matter. We we win this battle. The Ion Storm hugely helps us here. They're on the same guys in we belt him down and we're gonna blow up the anti-personnel drone as well. Now let's get 2v1 damage on you. There was some risk there because they might have powered their other weapon when the anti-personnel drone went down, but they didn't. Are we gonna kill this guy? Yes. Good. Now the question is, do I go to that store right now? And see if there's something I can get by selling the respirators. Or do I just get shields up? I'm leaning towards the latter. I mean, you do kind of need specific things on this ship that you can get at stores. But on the other hand, having safety is so valuable. I mean, we could take another jump or two. We could potentially get shields up and say, take these two jumps and then inefficiently go to the store. I'll decide whether or not I'm going to do that, but I am going to just get my shields up. I wouldn't have been able to get hacking there without completely delaying shield upgrades, and that's not worth it. Okay, good. We have a blue option on this event. We have the Zoltan. So, yeah, we're very, very glad that we have our shields up for this, because this ship, it has a Zoltan shield, and if we had only one shield bubble, it would be able to hurt us. But we have two shield bubbles, so it can't. Um, I'm trying to decide whether or not I should train my Zoltans on this. I think I'm not going to. It's only firing one shot. I'll wait for a two-shot enemy. I ultimately don't want my Zoltan on piloting anyway, and it will take forever. We have to use the flak artillery to get through the Zoltan shield. And then we also have to board and smash clone base, so we're going to board with everyone this time. Yeah, you can see how long this takes to fire if they had an Artemis missile over there. You guys go over there, you get into teleporter, we're gonna now kite these guys. Whee! Whee! Now you guys go in shields, you go in clumbe. And break the Columbia. There we go. Now you guys run in here. Ooh, we got a weapon. It's not a good weapon. In fact, it's kind of useless. The only thing it does is get through Zoltan Shields, and frankly, that's as slow at getting... It's a little bit faster at getting through Zoltan Shields in our flak artillery, but not enough that I would actually use it. It might get me some blue options, I guess. I'm venting all these people. The annoying thing about having emergency respirators is it makes venting your own crew take longer. But this is 
not a completely terrible problem to have. If I sold the heavy ion and the respirators, I would get how much crap? 22, 25, that's 47, that's not enough to really buy anything particularly valuable other than a small bomb. And I'm not particularly keen on going to a store just on the off chance it has the very specific weapon that I want there. The small bomb is by far the best weapon that you can get on this. If you've seen my other boarding runs, which I've done quite a few of on this streak, small bomb is a really, really good boarding support weapon. But you know, if it's not that specific weapon, you need to boost your weapons to use it anyway. If it's like a Hermes missile is good as well and fairly common, but you need to boost your weapons to use that. Like many boarding ships, you have a weak weapon system on this. Hmm, there's a storage cache here. Unfortunately, there's also a burst laser too here. You get in there. We're gonna... Actually, we'll not do that yet. I'm venting this. That is that burst two small bomb. That's burst two small bomb, isn't it? That's dirty. We are just breaking those. They're dangerous. They could hit my clone. The reason I vented this room was that if they hit it with a burst laser and set it on fire, the fire would go out. Can you punch this down before it goes off again? Apparently the answer to that is no. Oh no, they did. Okay, good. In that case, we're safe. Now they're gonna get to cloak multiple times before our flak artillery goes off. It's very annoying. I'm gonna clone these guys and have them on standby to board again because I do not want them ever able to hit my ship again. I mean, if nothing else, they could bomb the artillery and make this take even longer and give them time to fix their stuff. How frustrating. Um, I might actually wait till this goes off. It's going to this time and it might just kill the ship. Yeah, it did. I was concerned that they might, because they'd been able to cloak, they had time to build that up, and I was worried they might bomb my clone bay while my people were dying. Okay. Um. We have 22, 25. We have... I mean, if I just sell these two things, that's 25. That gets me to 79. If I sell all three of these, I can get hacking. I now think it's worthwhile me going to this store, even though it involves jumping backwards, because there are good things that we can get there if they're available. And like, we had a bunch of nebula jumps earlier, so it's not like losing one jump is that bad, albeit the exit in this, lo in this sector sucks. But I mean, we've actually had quite a lucrative sector so far, and losing one jump, I feel like that's now fine. So we're going to go here and find out. It does not, unfortunately, have anything that we want. So that was a wasted jump. I will sell the defensive drone. I'll keep the heavy ion for blue options. I don't feel like buying back a battery is worth it, even though I do eventually want it, because I'm not guaranteed to make that 35 scrap back in time. And there could be a store, like, right here with hacking, or there, or... Well, it's not there, because I've already seen that jump. But, you know, there could be one in a couple jumps that has hacking or a small bomb or something I really want, and I don't want to put myself... Uh, just behind on affording that just to get something that's like nice to have so unfortunately that was a waste of a jump god damn it I need to see what they're hacking okay that doesn't matter in the least like this is dangerous because there's a solar flare going off but I still need to board I can't leave them to shoot these very dangerous weapons at me If I vent that room, the odds that they're going to solar flare that and burn it down are about nil. Okay, good. That's broken. In fact, they're not even dead, so I'm going to bring them back right now so that there's no chance at all of that happening.
We shouldn't be in danger again this fight, I think. Other than from the solar flare doing annoying stuff. Yeah, like, the flak artillery just took their weapons down. They'll eventually get them back, but by the time they do, the flak artillery will be about ready to go off again. So we just need to survive a couple of solar flares. They shouldn't ever bring the Burst 2 down, and without that they can't get through my shields. They're also taking damage from the solar flares themselves. They might just die to that because their shields are down. This is a not very exciting fight, but ultimately this is the third auto scout that we fought so far, and we have yet to fight, you know, one of the types of ships that this Fed Sea is much weaker against. So I can't be too unhappy. Hurry up. Okay, they they blew up to the solar flare. I'm gonna vent these guys anyway, I think. I really need them at full health, so what I'm going to do... Get everyone back in position. I'm going to let another solar flare hit me, and then I'm going to vent them and clone them in the clump. I don't want the solar flare to hit them while they're, while they're in there, on the off chance that it burns down. Okay, it hit that system, which is also quite annoying, but that should... be solvable. I don't know if my human clones before that goes off or not. If he doesn't though, we just jump out. He does, good. Let's get out now before another one goes off. Do I have two more jumps here? Or three? Looks like three. So we're gonna go here, and then there, and then probably there. Or there, there, and there, if that's a store. More auto scouts. We are not completely safe from this, even though we have the ability to put the Zoltans in shields, because um, the, this will take out, still take out the second shield. They'll only ion proof the first layer. But whatever, I can board into weapons and smash them. I think we break one of these before it even gets to fire. Oh, they did the smart thing. Very good. Well, we dodged anyway, so. And now we're completely safe. Fortunately, this is an outpost, so we're going to get a double reward here. Cool, they blew it up as they died. Okay. So, since no store, we go here and hope there's one there, but, you know, in all likelihood, we don't get another store this sector, and it's fine. There's not guaranteed to even be two in Sector 1. Holy crap, another outpost! They're gonna board us, so we'll just murder the person who's gonna board us. They've even jumped into an extremely convenient location. And then we will board and murder them at our leisure. If these were two single-shot lasers, I would train dodge here. 
they are not. Since our crew are injured, I don't know if we win this, but it doesn't matter. They'll just come back if we don't. I think we win it anyway. Yep. Another double reward. So this is going quite well, but we're not as safe as you might think, because lots of scrap doesn't help you if you get that one nasty ship. That's the, the run that I lost my 25 win streak on, I had crap loads of scrap, but I didn't have good stores, and the one that I had that had something that could have helped me, I didn't identify it correctly. I should have bought a Pegasus missile that was available, thought it would be too expensive. It wasn't, I could have got it online and then I didn't do it. But, you know, we haven't had any really bad fights so far, and we've made a crap load of scrap. We do have another jump before this, so we'll take it. Okay, there's nothing there. Off to the exit. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't even taken five damage, I'll just ignore that. Okay, there's more stores in Rock Controlled, so we're going there. We need to get stores. The rocks are more annoying to board, but, like, at this point in the game, there shouldn't be rock ships with missile cloaking. Th those don't turn up in Sector 2. And we also have protection against rock live mines, so it's not too bad. This also, Rebel Controlled also would force us into a nebula in Sector 3, whereas this gives us a chance of a red sector, a green sector, rather. Anyway, I will be back in a moment. Okay, we are back. I'm considering here, and I feel like the thing I should do actually is upgrade my weapons here. The reason is, if I do that, I can use the Heavy Ion, and now the Heavy Ion is mostly worthless. The one thing it is useful for is if I fight a ship that has Zoltan Shields and nasty weapons, um, the Heavy Ion, every single time it hits a Zoltan Shield, does four points of damage, which means you only need to hit twice to take it down. So you can do that as quickly as, you know, if you run someone into weapons in 25 seconds, whereas our Flak artillery will take literally twice as long. So if we fight a ship that has, you know, Zoltan Shield plus Artemis, that would be a big deal. It also, spending this scrap doesn't bring me below any useful thresholds, because, like, if I do that, I've got 91. So if I were to, say, jump here or spot a store immediately while making no scrap, and maybe I jumped here and made no scrap either, I would still have 91 and then be able to sell these two for another 47. And the things I would want at a store are hacking, obviously, is number one. That's 80 scrap. A small bomb would be the next ideal thing, 45 scrap. A Hermes missile would be behind that, and that's also 45 scrap. Some kind of cheap weapon, like a heavy laser, is 50. You know, any anything like that. It won't take me below the, um, the levels for doing that. This is also an upgrade I eventually want anyway. And since I can do it without removing my ability to afford anything else I want, I think I do that now. It pains me to upgrade my weapons to be able to use a heavy ion. It's, it's a just-in-case thing. Okay, this is a very, very easy ship. It, once again, cannot hurt me. We are going to board... ...into... let's just go right into here. Start fighting them. This rock will come down to hit me, but will take a very long time to get down there. I think we don't even need to do any clever kiting tactics at this point. We just win this straight up, because this rock will die. Actually, maybe we do, because our human is losing. Let's run you up here. Get a hit on you. Now, move down here.
Ooh, we got a hit on them. Now I think we win this. Yep. Amazing! So, we just got the weapon that we wanted. Small Bomb will solve all of our problems for quite a long time with dealing with med bays and missiles. Now we just want hacking. If we can get, get hacking to go alongside that, we will be set for such a long time. By the time those two things would not be enough, we would have whatever else we needed. Okay, still no store. That's fine. This Zoltan can now either run to weapons or uh, engines, depending on what I want most in the individual fight. Let's go here to see the top bit of the sector. Send an away party to investigate. The Federation base quest is quite good because you often get crew there, which for a boarding ship is very important. I wouldn't mind hitting the distress beacon, but I want stores, so we're gonna bypass it and keep going forward to beacons to see more. Okay, so this is the kind of ship where we're really glad we have a small bomb. Um, put you in weapons, although it's still not gonna be fast enough to outdo these, but you go indoors, they'll run in, we'll start hitting you. Yeah, one small bomb. Admittedly, we would win this fight eventually anyway, because we could just board with four people. But we do that, we won't take any more damage in the whole fight. One small bomb, that's all we need. Now we have enough, now the fight is safe, we have enough time to do whatever, whatever we want. So the other things that we really want, I guess, that other that other than hacking would be uh, Zoltan Shield Bypass. You know, bomb boarding, bypass, and hacking. Those those things can just carry. Okay, we got a store. Cool. We go right there. No hacking. There's a Hermes missile, so had we not got the small bomb, we could do that. Um, there's a reconstructive teleport. That's a bait. Is there another store? There isn't. I'm quite tempted by the backup DNA bank. If we do that, we can sell the emergency respirators because, like, they're both basically there for helping to deal with auto scouts. But the emergency respirator, the backup DNA bank, has more uses elsewhere. You know, backup DNA bank means I'm not going to lose my crew, so I would need to lose the run either by soft locking or by just actually losing a fight. Um, I'm also wondering about the burst laser, just to give me something to help me get through Zoltan shields. Let me think, how much are those together? Those are 90 together. If I then sell the respirators and the heavy ion, that gets me 47 back. Which would get me to 
90 minus 47 is 43. It would take me to below 80, but not by very much. On the other hand, do I really need the burst laser? It mostly would be there for helping to deal with Zolm shields. And I could use the heavy ion for that. They don't really take particularly... The difference with the Burst Laser 1, it's a little bit more reliable because, like, if a Zoltan Shield ship dodges a heavy ion shot, it obviously doesn't do anything. Whereas the Burst Laser, it could dodge maybe one, but not both of the shots. I'm going to buy the backup DNA bank and sell the respirators because this is just straightforwardly a preferable thing to have. Um... I mean, if I buy this, that takes me... I will literally be at 75. So actually, I can do this, because frankly, if I get to the... I mean, I'm going to the Federation base next for a start. But if I somehow get to another store having made zero scrap, I would sell the backup DNA bank for hacking if I had to. That would be inefficient, but I would still do it. So let's do that. And I think that's not terribly likely to happen anyway. I mean, frankly, if I see a store here, I can take extra jumps, and that's assuming I even see the other store in this sector. Okay, unfortunately, that was a bad version of the Federation base quest. I could have got stuff by upgrading my sensors there, but it's only like a 1 in 4 chance that that's the version of the base quest you'll get. So I didn't feel like that was worth it. Okay. Here, we're very glad that we have a bomb, because they have a med bay and a missile. It's exactly the kind of ship that's very dangerous to deal with if you don't have a way to deal targeted damage. Cool, we actually... never mind, we, we actually... I was gonna bomb that room, but we actually managed to blow that up before that even became necessary because of how slow the rocks were to respond. In that case, let's just hit that. Thoughts, come help me out. Cool. Human, come on out. Now, I could go down, but actually that... Actually, no, I can't go down. That completely traps me. So let's go over. And hopefully the other store is over there and has hacking. Well, we got a missile. And there's the other store. Cool. Do we have three jumps here? I think we do. Uh, actually, it's quite close. I do not think we even have that we have three jumps here. It's really, really tight. It's too tight. I'm going to go store, there, exit. Yay! Hacking! Long range scanner. And you know what? Screw it. Let's repair all the way up. This system, albeit we now have hacking, so we're less likely to, but this ship tends to take a lot of chip damage, so... the fight. We'd now like to upgrade our hacking. They're gonna board us. We only need one shield bubble. Hack their weapons. Colton, go man doors. 
Don't you. Please break that missile. That's not the weapon I wanted you to break. Hooray, you did it! Kill you. Then kill them. Give me stuff. That's not quite enough to upgrade my hacking, but it's close to it. I'm gonna actually take a power bar because we're currently running a little low. At the moment, there wouldn't be too much point in having level 2 hacking, because there's no way I could run that and my other stuff. I could, but I'd have to, like, pull, that, pull a shield bubble down or pull all my evade down and do other awkward things. We'd like some more crew. Not enough that I'm going to buy any, but we would like some more crew. So, off to the exit. We'll find out whether I did have an extra jump, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. Hey, what was that about me wanting more crew? Exactly the ship that we wanted. Now, this ship is quite annoying because of the mind control. The ship can't actually hurt us, except, the, except for the mind control. Because if we ran two Zoltans in the shields, we'd be immune to damage here, despite them having two shields early. But the fact they have mind control makes it awkward. We need to... How do I want to do this? I'm going to hack weapons for safety. Because I want to eventually be able to board this ship with four people. Stop you from smashing that system and doing me damage. Can I bomb this? Yes. Okay, that's down. Board into here. Those all hit, but it didn't matter. Wait for the door to lock. Blow that up. Uh, we need to stay in there until our shield recharges. Can you break that time? You go in here. Are you gonna run in? Throwing shields. Uh, it's an upgraded teleport, uh, upgraded clone bay. Broke it. That was a little tricky. Nice. Um, the rock would give more blue options, but like, just give me a mantis. You know, double mantis is way better than. Mantis human as your boarding team, or Mantis rock for that matter. This also means the human can be my pilot, and I can use the NGs on weapons and uh, engines. The NGs, the Zoltans, on weapons and engines. Okay. And yeah, we didn't have enough space. It was close. Um, NG Homeworld is pretty good when you're playing a boarding ship. The Homeworld quest is quite good, although we don't have an NG, so we don't have a way to get that quest, thinking on it. I mean, Rock is too... 
Rock is two stores. Rock also gives us... I'm concerned that that could be forced abandoned. So I'm going to go Rock so that I'm not... I, I have a choice. Abandoned sector would be quite nasty for this ship to deal with. We'll go here first. We're very glad that we have hacking and a bomb here because those are nasty, nasty weapons. Board into there immediately. Put a point of damage on them. Put two more points of damage on them. He maybe even put another point of damage on them. No, but whatever. We now win this easily. these mantis. Now I want one more power bar. Then I might upgrade engines. Since this ship never gets cloaking, it could be valuable to upgrade engines earlier, in case you need to, like, run away from stuff. Although, at this point, we have hacking to delay, so, like, a long weapons hack, which we're going to do pretty much any time we're in any remote danger, buys lots of time anyway, but... You know, there's no point holding on... Normally, I wait until I get cloaking to upgrade my engines. There's no point in doing that on this run, because we're never going to get cloaking. We literally can't put it on the ship. Let's fight this ship. The ship also has very dangerous weapons. Get that down. Get that down. Oh, they actually boarded us. I think we ran them into that room and they got confused and decided to use it. Whatever. We'll fight on both sides. Easy win. Um, you actually didn't take any damage because of that strangeness, so we just need to vent one Mantis. Gonna do that now. Now I think we start saving for stores. Take the fight. I should really put leave you in sensors, that's a mistake. I don't think I need to hack in this fight, because we can just small bomb the Flak 2 down, and that's if it even gets to fire. Depending on what ship crew this ship have, they might not even do that. Let's board immediately into bow 2, make them come hit me, they're rocks. So that will take longer to kill, but... You know, run you into weapons. We hit one of the two rocks, and we took the... Black 2 down, so we're good. Cool. We don't even mind venting now because we have a backup DNA bank, so it's fine even if it goes off and hits our combat. I'm still going to vent the room because I don't want it to hit it and do damage, but it doesn't matter in the sense of 
hitting and burning the system down, costing me crew. There is fire spreading on their ship. Whatever, they're rocks. I'm sure they can deal with it. We'll take that. It's only two fuel and we're using bombs. Go here first. Yay, slaver. Not yay, these are really good weapons. I think the safe thing to do, even though it could result in me taking damage, will be to let them fire that flak. Unless I can dam get a point of damage before they fire. Because I could let them fire the flak and then hack immediately to desync. I didn't need to do that, I guess. But whatever. I didn't know that for sure. And they didn't hit me with the flak, so... Now I'm completely safe from that. Um... I don't need to waste a bomb on this fight. I can just board. You annoying people, you were actually clever enough to flip weapons. I guess I do need to spend a bomb now. Why are you going up there? What? Well, that was a waste. I guess I miscounted. We took one damage because we misplayed. Well, we would have taken the damage anyway, but we, we took a damage and we wasted a bomb. We haven't managed to find any trainer ships yet, unfortunately. Well, we did in the very early sectors, but I perhaps unwisely chose not to use them. Admittedly, the only person who would have got that training that we would still be using would be the engines, Zoltan. So I think it's okay. I think I hit the distress in this and ignore the fight in the asteroid field. Asteroid field fights can be dangerous, and I don't see a need to do that when we can make as much scrap going elsewhere. Offer assistance. Teleporter, give me more crew. I would have preferred a rock, but whatever. I'm going to put this guy on weapons and this Zoltan on shields, because that way I can quickly run two Zoltans into shields to get an ion-proof layer. Double humans are also a tolerable backup boarding team. Attack. This ship is nasty. They have a med bay, they have good weapons, they're boarding us. Take one of these down before they fire. No. Not without hacking. Come on in. Okay, you kill them. You bomb that. They unfortunately ran into med bay, but... You can't have everything. Like, I don't care that you're at full health, you're in a locked room and you're fighting 4v1, you're gonna lose. These two get vented, the humans don't need to. Okay, there's a store.
we could get pretty much anything we might want there. We'll never really need more than a hundred scrap unless we get to like a store with multiple weapons. You know, a burst two is eighty, a flak is sixty-five, heavy laser is fifty. Zorton Shield Bypass is 55, so really anything that we could want, we can get, if it's there. No pre-igniter, but whatever, I wouldn't get a pre-igniter. Do we have two jumps before this? I think so. It looks like we can go here, here, here. Unfortunately, the exit on this sector, like the thing that joins it, there's a big gap. Which is frustrating, but what can I do? More missile ships. This is annoying. If we bomb this room, we're going to take the laser down and leave the missile up. Can I somehow get you out of this room? Yes. Let's go back in there now. Can you put a point of damage on here before they get in? Yes, success. Weapons down. Hey, you're rocks, you like fighting fires, right? get combat skill smashing their systems while this rock slowly lumbers over to me. Keep the damage on the mantis, because I don't want to actually vent my humans. They might actually develop skills. Nice. Like to buy drones at this store for sure. Ideally, we'd get to above 10, but you know, there's not going to be enough drones to do that. We'd need multiple for that. Sadly, there's not really anything that we want here. We'll get a point of repair, I guess. The ion bomb is kind of fun to use with boarding, but it's a bit superfluous with the small bomb. Should we buy a chain laser? I don't feel like that's worth it. I'll hold scrap for a store, and if I don't see one relatively early in the next sector, I might just go hacking three. Fight the ship. As long as they don't hack something important, we can't take damage. Yeah, we can't take damage here, so... Positive. In that case, let's go look at my sensors and see what we're getting into here. Well, they have an anti-personnel drone, but it's fine. Should I train here? I think I need to train here. We've had a real dearth of opportunities to, uh, dearth, I should say, of opportunities to train. And, um, even though this is going to take forever, like, we have the crew that we want on the positions that we want them on, so we might as well take it. So, I will meet you back when we have fully trained people in... Actually, we can train everything here. Yeah, we'll fully train everyone and everything. So, I will see you when we've done that. Okay, we've full trained in everything. Now we just need to kill this ship. They have a bunch of crew and an anti-personnel drone over there, so that'll be a little bit annoying, but they have no way to heal and they can't hurt us. So we can take this as slow as we'd like. Why do I keep repowering the burst one? Our mantis will die a couple of times. I don't care. I'm not going to send any of my other crew over there, because if they die, I'll lose to training that I just spent a while getting them. Go, mantis, go. Go. 
we'll win next time. Unfortunately, the door hack will slow them down from actually getting to the teleporter or whatever. All this ship can do is slow me down and not actually do anything meaningful to stop me. Oh, they didn't even send the anti-personnel drone in to fight me, so... Nice. So, that was a very, very productive ship. That's not a great weapon, but, you know, it'll do. It makes me feel much better about not wasting money on the charge laser earlier. Although, if we had got the charge laser, we would have, like, end very boring endgame-capable weapons already. Oh yeah, we were there, weren't we? We just saw a store. We're not going to see another this sector, but it's fine. We upgraded our weapons once we could use the charge two to get some zolt shields, but I'm gonna hold off until we see a see if there's an early sector four store. I probably would still rather get hacking up to level three than that. Unless we were going into a zolt sector, which I know we're not, because next sector is red. Destroy and loot the ship, they're just pirates. This is almost exactly, it's its a little bit weaker, but this is very, very similar to the ship that killed, in, at a similar point in the game, to the ship that killed my 25 streak. Except in that game, I didn't have a small bomb. Or hacking. It has a missile, it's got a clone bay, I don't know whether it's upgraded like the one that actually killed me was with the med bay. Ew, yuck. Goes down. Now, do we bomb the weapons here, or do we just bomb the med bat, the clone bat? I think we bomb the clone bat to try to win this quickly, because we can't take out all the weapons. I don't know how many crew they have over there. They've unfortunately got a third one. I take like one missile. But we should have this guy dead before. And we dodged it. Ah! Oh, we dodged that too. Cool. And we even got a free crew member. More Zoltans. At a certain point, I might vent my weapons human then and replace them with a weapon Zoltan, but. I'm not doing that for now. This will all just stand in shields and give me a permanent ion proof layer. Did I somehow save my crew positions in the that Mantis hasn't... Or maybe I never saved that Mantis's crew position. I saved them in some weird place. I must have accidentally hit the save button while they were um, being vented. Off to the exit. I'm not doing that. We're ahead on power with this Zoltan that's just dropped, and we're using both bombs and missiles. Hey, we would have been forced into Abandoned, and instead, by taking this rock sector, we can go see if we can find Kazak. We already have the, um, the prerequisites we need for Kazak, and we have long-range scanners. Now, unfortunately, Kazak could be here or there. We don't know which he could, will be at, and we can't go to both. This one leads to more possible jumps, so I'm going there. Um, actually, we don't need the power bar because it's a soul we just got. Level 3 hack. Uh, try to download the data stores. We are one Zoltan short of being immune to damage against this guy, but it's fine. We 
we can board with wild abandon. I'm not even gonna hack on this ship, because once we break the weapons, they'll never be able to hurt us again, and they are at most gonna do like one damage. And it doesn't even matter if they hit my Columbe, because the mantises will just come back. They have a, we have a backup DNA bank, we're completely safe. We don't need to use any resources in this fight. Apart from the lives of our mantis. Does that count as a resource? I'd say with the Columbe that it doesn't, it's a renewable resource. I suppose that's still a kind of resource, but... Even though this slows it down, we're gonna smash the weapons completely. Then we'll board and break shields. Then we'll start hitting them with our laser. We don't get to break as much since we did sell the emergency respirators, but the backup DNA bank is just more security. I could just charge the, um... Why am I not doing that? I have kind of forgot that we even had the flak artillery, to be honest. We can use that and hope it hits shields. That's probably a lot faster than waiting for these clones. I mean, I'll wait for the I'll use the clones as well. to have weapons. Stop that. Stop it immediately. Cool. Now, let's hope that the flak artillery hits shields. It did not, unfortunately. But maybe we can hit it while the shields are down. If I thought about it, I'd have shot while both shields are down, but it doesn't matter. We hit shields. No, I don't want you to go there. See if we can keep hitting shields until they go all the way down. Break weapons again, that'll do damage. Okay, we got this. What'll do it first, the burst laser or the flak artillery? I think it's going to be the reverse license. Yep. Yeah, flak artillery. It marginally contributed. Okay, Kazak is not at either of those. Let's ignore it for now. In addition to being a really good border, the Kazakh quest gives guaranteed weapon drops. So that's, you know, really, really valuable. So I'm just avoiding those to try to see if I can find the Kazakh fight. This fight's awkward because of the big missile, but whatever. I'm actually going to let them board because I think they have four crew over there. Yeah, by doing that, let's just go run to doors. I get unimpeded access to their weapons room. That means I can put a point of damage on that. And take the missile down, which is the only thing that matters. Hit that room. You people, keep venting. Now I need more crew over there. Send the Zoltans. Once I have four crew over there, they will run to the 
weapon wound to match my numbers. Since they're all wounded, we win easily. And we got another Mantis. Superb. Back to your stations. Get vented. going to do this at this point. Because there's really no reason not to. I could probably work on the teleporter next to make it faster to get more crew over there. Well, this is the sort of ship you're glad to fight with boarding. They only have two crew over there. So, they will they look, they have dangerous weapons and three shield bubbles. Fighting them with guns would be irritating, but with boarding you just do this. Yeah, double NGs. We just hack those weapons all the way down. I don't think we even need to use a bomb. I think we just kill these two before they ever get to shoot anything because of how long that hack lasts. Nice. Now we're in... Oh, I never even moved that Mantis to a spot. I'll move that Mantis to sensor so that I actually have the sensor information. Okay, that could be Kazak. I mean, we could jump back here. Actually, we're going to do that. We can hit there, there, there. And that gives us... I mean, we, we don't get every single chance at Kazak because there could be some in the beacon we just can't reach, but like... We'll go to the chances that we see over the ones that, like, might be him and might not. Let's upgrade the teleporter now. I can use these two as my backup boarding team. We might even take it to level 3 as our next upgrade. probably do this one without hacking. You go there, you go there. Since I have a med bay, I want to kill this person while he's still on my ship. Wow. Get wrecked. an ion bomb. That's an ion bomb, isn't it? No, no, it's a stun bomb. That's not very dangerous at all, then. Let's go fight them in there. I don't care if my guy's burned to death. We have a backup DNA back. You don't even need to come back to my ship to get vented. Just go and get nice and toasty. Also venting the other mantis. Oh, they're not. Yeah, it's good to have a fight where I don't use a, bo a drone. Unfortunately, we didn't get one to make up for not having done so, but regardless, we at least stay level. About the only thing we really need to do to stay well ahead on this run is not run out of our consumable resources. We're 
search among the stores. We bother boarding this. Yeah, we do, because it's completely safe to do so. Shoot at the room they're in, I don't care. Okay, all their dangerous weapons are down. That might be an ion bomb. Stop them dodging, it's annoying. I don't care about the ion bomb now. upgrade my weapons to level 4 and then I could use the burst laser and the flak to deal with old shields very rapidly. I think probably that's my next upgrade. But in most fights it doesn't matter. Come on, Kazak. Okay, this is the Mantis ship collectors. Um, do we want them? If we let them run away, we get a weapon. A weapon drop. I think honestly we just kill them and move on. We we have we can beat the game with these weapons already, so I don't need to do that. You guys go and fight that, you go and board. Kill this fool. We'll go take the other chance for Kazak. And then we'll go to the store. It's only m fights that aren't marked as having like a hazard at them where Kazak can be in the Mantis homeworlds. Which is why I'm hitting all of these. And not having any luck, unfortunately. even want to board again. Honestly, if I board again, they might actually, uh, actually get you two out of that room and send you two in and then we'll win the fight. If I, if I went into the shields room, I'm concerned we'll actually get that missile off, that missile off, because they would need to get out of the room. Ah, you managed to get it off anyway, you annoying people. I could actually get away before that hit by bringing all of my crew back, but then they have full health, and actually I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway because of the animation. 
Okay, I could have very rapidly brought them all back and then just immediately dived. Not dived, you know, jumped. Actually, you don't need venting this time. So, at the store, we will just buy mortar rounds. And, like, if there's a backup battery, we'll buy that. If there are any good weapons, we'll buy that to replace the charge, too, but... There aren't. Buy all the drones. Full repair. We don't need the chain island, we sell it. Oh, there's another store, cool. We'll go here, and then the store. Doesn't particularly look like we're finding Kazak this run, but it's fine. This fight is many, many times safer by weapon hack. We deliberately let these two single shot weapons fire. Yeah, whatever, come on in, I don't care who I'm fighting. And then we hack, and by the time this is ready to fire, it won't matter. Kill that guy. No, you don't escape. Start breaking weapons. Healing burst is kind of cute. We could use that to, um, stop our people from being vented, but that would take bombs, and I don't want to do that. I want my bombs solely for the small bomb. So we're going to just sell that at that store. Well, we might get Kazak there. I think we'll probably dive in this sector, honestly. Get our engines up. We'll take one ASB. We can, like, weapon hack. And, like, we have long-range scanners. We have potentially multiple chances to get Kazak if we dive. I feel like that's worth it. Okay, there's a pack of battery. Do we want to get the whole beam? I think we do. We'll get all of these. Whole beam. There we go. That's a cheaper endgame weapon setup. Can I go here, here, and there? If I can, then that's strictly preferable. But I don't know that I can, so I'm actually going to go here first so that I can definitely go to that jump in case that's where Kazak is. I should have bought some fuel, though. That was a mistake. I was hopeful there, but that's the wrong name. I don't think we need to hack here. We indeed do not need to. You go over there. Small bomb. Oh wow, that's a level 3 med bag. If I'd realized that, maybe I would have. Okay, in that case, we need to kite for a while. And annoyingly, we took damage. Okay, good. Well, we took two damage to save a drone, and that was only because that was a level 3 med bay. If it had been a level 2, we wouldn't have taken it.
Boo, no Kazak. We can't get to this jump, I don't think. Actually, maybe we can. If we can, it makes the dive even more worth it. Uh, we have a clone bay, let's pry it open. We don't want you. We already have better... We can't just get here, but it's not to Zack. We'll do it anyway, because there might be scrap here. There isn't, there's the opposite of what we want. We do not have fuel to give away. Okay, so we have to take a dive now. Those are kind of dangerous weapons, but it's fine. I mean, we could potentially just board and kill this ship, honestly. We'll then get the fuel, and that will also end the fight. I'll think about that. We win our FTL will also charge faster. I don't even know that we need to board with our other crew. Yeah, we just win with these two. Cool, we dodged the AS bit. So, completely safe. Zoltan systems are the only things we're particularly concerned about. We don't go there, we'll go pirate instead. So, sadly, we didn't get Kazak, but it's fine. We'll be alright. Let's clone these two. Yeah, I really wish I'd bought fuel at that store. That was dumb. I think we'll get our shields up next, and then the teleporter. I'm going to be off for a bit, so I will see you when I return. And we're back. So, let's continue the run. Let's see, it's been a while. We've just got into Sector 5. We're a bit low on fuel. But we're generally just doing really, really well. So we just need to get upgrades. I think I was going to go for shields next, and then teleporter. Well, that beacon is disappointing. Let's go to this distress beacon, that sees a lot, and then we'll go down to this nebula. Unfortunately, since this is a pirate sector, it's relatively light on stores, but as long as we can get some fuel, we're fine. This can lose crew even with a clone bay, I'm not doing that. Backup DNA bank does not protect you against that. Aid the civilian ship. We are one Zoltan short of being completely immune to this ship, but we are not in much danger from it. I will still hack. They have quite a few crew over there, and their crew are pretty good at fighting, too. Apart from these Angies, but like they have a Mantis and a Rock. Let's just... Make this easier on myself. Get out, no. Damn it, they missed. Or they dodged, rather. I missed. Go board them, get in there. Yeah, we took one point there. Don't let him fix that. Weapon hack. I 
think we might just win this before they uh, are able to fight me again, because these guys are going to die. Yep. NG! And I'll welcome them aboard, but I'll immediately throw them off. Hmm, should I throw out the human pilot? This temporarily reduces my evade, but actually I'll do this for the blue options. The NG will get trained up quite quickly. I probably won't even need to specifically find a trainer ship, because they'll probably just get there on their own. Let's vent all the mantis. There's a store, so we go there before we spend any scrap. We want to buy every bit of fuel in that store, and we'll see if there's Zoltan Shield Bypass or something like that in there. Breach Bomb 2 would be cute, though not necessary. Back to your positions. Store. Okay, well. Buy a few drones as well. And let's get our shields up. And nothing there. Attack the ship. Well, this ship can't hurt me, so let's take a moment. I'm gonna go and make some tea, and when I come back, my NG will have full pilot training. Right. So we have a new and improved pilot. We don't need to waste any resources on this fight. They can't heal. Let's just board. Go into a two-person room for now. They probably have four crew over there. Yep. Very easy win. You two get vented. Our other mantis has full health, so it doesn't need to be. Buy two more power bars, because I just got the shields up, but didn't have the scrap to do that. I guess I should have checked the map, but there's probably not another store in this sector. There might be, because there's sometimes two stores in pirate sectors. Take the asteroid fight. I want the beam or the laser. Take the beam. If I hack weapons, I can board weapons and just smash them. I can just clone my crew after the fight, because I'd rather put the power into evade. I guess if I'd hit the uh, empty hole both times, I would have won this fight by now, but whatever. Attack those down. Now my mantis can come back to life. All we need now is scrap. And we will get loads of that. We still have three sectors left, so... We'll work on getting the teleporter up next. Take this fight. 
no, we're not surrendering crew to slavers. We're immune to damage in this fight. Because their only thing that can pierce shields is an ion weapon. I don't know whether we'll kill these people before they warp back, but it doesn't matter that much. Okay, we don't. We'll see when they board again, because if we can get them in a four-tile room, we can kill them then. And then we can board and break their medbay with distraction tactics. Unfortunately, they haven't done that. Maybe we do this. We invent the room they've gone into, as well as... That'll drag them into there, as well as doing extra damage to them. Nah, it still didn't work. Oh well. Um, let's vent our mantis, because, you know, we're in no danger here, so... We might need to board them with, like, six people. Yeah, that chain ion is now fully spun up, and it would be getting my shields down if I didn't have two Zorsons in there. But I do. Do I use the... What am I thinking? I can just use... I was forgetting, of course, I do actually have conventional weapons, I'm just not tending to use them. So, let's use Flak and Burst Laser to shoot the medbay down. And once that's down, you guys are completely screwed. I should have done that sooner. Because I've just been doing bomb plus board stuff, I wasn't even thinking about the fact that I do, in fact, have decent, conventional targeted damage. I would board with the Zoltans, but I can't do that safely, as, like, I could board with, like, six people and have them, too. You, get in shields. Make them come fight you in there. Break thing. Well, we get a free laser and a free mantis. Um, here, you can have this ship now. That mantis actually has weapons training, albeit he doesn't have full weapons training, but he'll he'll pick that up quite quickly. Run him over there. And now we vent you guys. So, we have four man, even though we didn't get Kazak, we have four Mantis boarding. And yeah, we got a free weapon there, which we could potentially even use. Like, at Weapons 8, we could run Flak, Burst 1, Chain Lasers, Hull Beam. That's not bad. I generally would rather use the Small Bomb for better targeted boarding. But we might keep the Chain Laser in reserve for flagship phases after Phase 1. Although, frankly, the small bomb can be pretty good just as a conventional weapon, backing other conventional weapons. Do I go to the distress beacon, or do I just go to the fight? If I want to hit both, I need to dive, which is probably not that bad, but I might as well just go to the fight. I could probably dive quite safely in every fight for the rest of the run, really. In every fight, every sector for the rest of the run. Let's get these up. Let's hack. Let's board. Don't let them smash that, please. And they dodged. Shoot.
Let's see if I can drop a small bomb on that to knock the missile offline. Uh, we don't currently need shields, so... Yep, that took that down. Okay, we're safe now. I don't know what that bomb is. I think that's probably an ion bomb because of how slow it is, but it doesn't matter. All I need to do is stop them from hitting me with my control stuff. Yeah, that is an ion bomb. Yeah, I suppose with three shield bubbles it's going to be a little bit difficult to get this stuff down, but... Let's have a couple Mantis board and break their shields. I'll keep firing and see whether or not I can get a hit off, but... Good, we got one down. We're fine now. We've got them down to one shield bubble. Okay, I'm glad we went this way. We get at least two more fights before we go out. Do we just up our weapons? Uh, it's on the teleporter. No, we're not surrendering to slavers any more than we did last time. They have double ion stunners. That's kind of scary. You can do... You can chain stuns with that. Or at least you can if you don't have a level 3 hack on your weapons. That makes chaining stuns quite quite challenging. You two go fight them. You two board. Aha, we hit the rock. What are you doing? Get in there. Murder these people. Don't let them in the med there. That one made it in, but it's fine. We'll let him heal and then we'll murder them with four mantis. Come on! Um, do I need to vent all of you? Yes. I'll lose some weapon training, but it's fine. I could move move one of my shield Zoltans over to take over weapons and then just have the four mantis be absolutely dedicated borders, but I don't feel like doing that right now. How much have you lost? John. Eh, you're down below level one, actually. In that case, I'll do it. I'll need to find or create a safe fight, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Go through there. Get these weapons going. That's a long cloak. That's a 15 second cloak. They only have one shield bubble though, which is quite strange for this late in the run. Can these mantis put out even one firebomb in a level 3 system? Let's find out. 
The answer to this appears to be no. Like, they're legitimately losing this. No, I don't want to run my pilot out because they're about to shoot this at me. Okay, they did actually manage it, eventually. Cool, we dodged. Uh, we'll vent that fire because our mantis are not going to bother trying to put it out again. Go and vent now. Go and repair. Oh, I forgot to save crew positions previously. Should we dive for a store? We should, but we'll go to the exit first, and then we'll go to the store to get whatever encounter there is here. Investigate the battlefield, sadly it was bad. We'll go here just to buy fuel, and you know, there's a chance of bypass. Sadly, there is no bypass here. There's not much of anything we want, but you know, there's six fuel, so that's worth it. We'll keep the chain laser just in case we want to use that for, for the final phases. We just get our engines up for a safer dive, and then it's fine. I think we won't bother boarding and killing this ship, we'll just let them come over to us. Okay, in this situation, let's get the Mantis all into that room. Oh. Got a good chance to dodge this, but we might not. Yeah, we dodged it. Cool. That's two for two on dodging dodge ASBs. Leave my hacking alone. Well, we're going to Zoltan controlled. But it's past the point in the run where that would be particularly threatening. Like, the border police will be annoying, but they, like, they won't kill my crew because I have backup DNA bank. They're not going to be a problem for my ship. I'll probably upgrade weapons now just to allow myself to get through Zoltan shields faster. But, like, I do ha ultimately have Flak Burst 1. That gets through Zoltan shields really quickly. Um, I'll vent you two. You're also down on health. There's a store. I probably shouldn't have done that then. Oh, we'll go check the store out once we're done cloning people. We can get our fuel up in the double digits, and, you know, well above double digits for the first time in a few sectors. I don't even need to wait until we finish cloning, let's just go here. Well, they have another flak, cool. In that case, forget the chain laser, get the flak. We'll keep the burst one for the later phases, because then we go flak, burst one, hull beam. Or flak, flak, burst one, hull beam. Unless we can get another hull beam, in which case we'll go flak, flak, hull beam, hull beam. After using the bomb in phase one. We're not going to two stores, that would be a waste of time. Let's buy all the fuel. So here's our first Zoltan shield, but these flax will just melt that stuff and then they're dead.
In there. Start crushing these feeble Daltons. It's rare that I would turn down Zoltan crew, but we don't want to get rid of Mantises and the Zoltan on piloting doesn't help me at all, so. Let's go up to the nebulas. Old nebulas are often quite empty, but you know, we have long range scanners, we can see things. Check out the odd moon. Yeah, we'll waste an explosive on it. Yeah, 57 scrap is very much worth spending one explosive. Let's fight the auto scout. We're going to use the hull beam in this battle, because double flax against an auto scout is going to have a really hard time actually hitting. I should have waited, that was an improper use of a weapon hack, I was being impatient there. Fortunately they're using double beam drones, so the fact that I'm only running one shield bubble is completely fine. No, oh no, my mantis went squish. I'll clone you later. Actually, I want to leave one point in that to keep delaying the repairs. Stupid level 3 piloting. Just notice we had an internal door open in our weapons room there. That must have got broken in a previous boarding event. There we go, fights. Let's get this up so I can use all three of my conventional weapons for situations where I want to do that. In fact, let's get another power bar. This is just such a situation. Let's let my mantis have the full time to work before I shoot my weapons. Really? Stupid auto scouts. Okay, that's annoying. Thank <laughs> you. 
However, they can't dodge this, so I should be able to knock that stupid missile off. Uh, go here and then there. Well, it's the border police. That's a very high Zolt quotient. But uh, I'll just vent them. How annoying. I can't be completely damage proof here because, well, I obviously don't have enough Zolts to keep three shield bubbles up. Stand there and I guess power my flak artillery or something. Okay, never mind. We're gonna take crap loads of explosion damage, but who cares? Take that Zolt shield down. Yeah, we do actually take damage from the Glade Beam because. What can we do? Well, let's hack those weapons now. That's very annoying. I can't vent my crew if the doors are broken. Screw it. Just go and board them. They have clone bay, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, do we even want to waste a bomb? Let's spend. We'll spend a bomb. Yeah, we'll we'll board. Our crew will die, but they'll come back. We must have managed to hit that room with our flak or something. Or the beam, but whatever, we took it that. We took the only thing that can take our shield bubbles out. Stop them cloning. Get in there, don't let them fix it. Yeah, you come down here, I don't care. Nice. I don't think we end up using that. We'd have to give up multiple other weapons to do it. But it sells for 32 scrap if we don't end up using it. I really like the heavy laser too, and we could go flak, flak, heavy, two small bomb. But I'd probably rather the whole beam. Like, the heavy laser two is really, really good for getting crew kills in the phase one of the flagship. But I have boarding, I don't need that. I'd rather have the beam for later phases so that I can just kill the ship quickly once I've eliminated their crew. Take this fight. We're definitely diving in this sector because that exit location sucks. What the fuck is this ship? So they have four shield bubbles and a defensive drone too, and one laser. Like, what are you thinking? What is this build? It's a build that gets eaten by Mantis. That's what it is. Actually, 
actually, what am I thinking? This is a, it's a build that gives me weapons training more accurately. I'll kill these two. That's great. I'm just gonna end the fight. I, I should have got weapons training in this, but I've already spent the bomb now. But yeah, that was a misplay. You two don't even need venting, you took so little damage from those NGs. Fuel is starting to go down again. But it's fine. Participate in the study. We get another single ion plus glaive beam shit. Annoyingly, they mind controlled one of my borders, and that's level 2 mind control. And they're boarding me too, cool. We can let them do a little bit of damage to this. We'll run out in a moment. I don't think they get both. They'll get all three levels. I need to hit the clone bay or else they're going to clone these stupid free pre-battle borders, actually. In that case, we need to just board right away just to stop them fixing that for as long as it takes for them to actually be properly dead. We might need to use a few bombs in this fight. In fact, let's just hit them. Let's try to hit the mind control and fail. Maybe I can hit it with my ordinary weapons. Yeah, that's the sort of thing I was worried about. Oh well, it's not very much damage. But I should have hacked, I guess. Oh, we got one of them. Don't allow them to fix the clone bay. As long as they can't fix the clone bay, we're safe. I should have stopped them doing that. I thought I would knock the mind control down. Whatever. We got a double scrap reward at a drop. We didn't take that much damage, really. But that's more than we should have taken. We should have, like, maybe got hit once, if that. I'm playing a bit carelessly because I was away from it for a while, and the run kind of feels like it's won at this point. I would need to make far more serious fuck-ups than that to lose the run. I would need to do that like seven or eight times in a row and not find a store to repair. Let's get my weapons up. Now I can use all four of these if I'm in a situation where I feel like doing that. I guess I didn't need the power, though. It's the Natural Mineral Protection Act. We'll take a missile or two here because we can't hack through his old shield, but... 
the whole beam for this. Cool, we dodged the Artemis missile. Now, bombing that room will not take the missile down. Or at least it will not necessarily take the missile down. There we go. So we didn't take any damage in that fight, even though it was more dangerous than the last one where we took quite a bit of, fight, of damage. No store. If we want to dive, we kind of want to go this way instead of eat towards that fight. Only danger with diving is we are low on fuel, and then we would kind of be forced to kill the, board, the dive ship, which admittedly we can do at this point. We are more than strong enough to kill dive ships. We killed one earlier when we were significantly weaker than this. Let's go there and see if I can see a store. If I can see a store where I can go to buy fuel, it's definitely worth doing. Or if I can just do that. Yeah, I can get... Can I get three jumps? Actually, I would need to double dive to get any of these. I assume that will connect. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to the exit then. Search among the stores. Give me free stuff. Rock Homeworlds or Slug Nebula. Slug Nebula is higher scrap. Admittedly, Slug Ship's light game can be very annoying to actually deal with with boarding, but it's fine. Should I just get my shields up now? I need to upgrade my oxygen, actually, for pre battle stuff, so we'll hold off on that. There's a possibility there's a store at something around here. We're going to go here and then there. Let's attack the automated ship. That's a lot of very fast weaponry over there. Um, let's bomb their shields. And this. We should be reasonably safe like this. There we go. Double reward. That's a very good reason for us to go to a store because we can't ever use that combat drone. There's a store. Let's go fight their store onwards. Or maybe down there, depending on what else I see. So yeah, the fact they have mind control makes these fights annoying. How long is that? That's level 2 mind control. Oh wow, that's a level 3 clone bear. 
Okay, let's load my conventional weapons then. See if I can hit that. Board. They could have as many as seven crew on this ship. Because late game slug ships are just absolutely overflowing with crew. They fucking fixed the damn thing, god damn it. Well, I don't need all those shields right now. Yes, send the mind controlled mantis to fix your clone bay. That's definitely a good idea. You go stand watch over that. Getting there. Okay, we did actually kill them all, but that was quite troublesome. You go and fix that. Nothing there. Okay, store and then store. Do we hit both of them? It's two chances to get Zoltan Shield Bypass. Let's do it. I'll keep the burst laser one. Sadly, neither of them were there. Um, should I buy stealth weapons? Yes. Since I can't get what I want, should I also buy that pike beam? I could use the pike beam. Yeah. Celebrate one, so I go small bomb in the first phase, and then in the later two phases I can go flak flak whole pike. Why did I buy stealth weapons? I don't have cloaking, you stupid person. I'm so used to having cloaking. Yeah, anyway, I'm throwing my scrap away. Let's let's spend some of it now before I do that again. Um, this leads to better jumps, so let's take these fights. I might lose this, but whatever. Nope. Did I give you permission to leave? Kill that guy. Well, Hermes Missile Drop is very good on a boarding ship in the early game, but, you know, we are well past the need for that. And we probably won't get the store to sell it in, but whatever. If we did, we'd just buy something stupid that we don't need and can't use, seemingly, so... Let's get a bit more power, because... When I'm running all my weapons, I am a little bit... light on it.
probably get another level of engines or two because I can't get cloaking. So... There's another store, I'm not going though. We'd sell the Hermes, it only sells for 22 scrap, that's not worth doing. Use my long range scanners to ensure a fight. Here in my clone bay. Oops, I gave up my door control. People in there, yes, there are. We missed. Drat. Got you. We might take a missile or two here. Nope. Just one, and we dodged it. Despite the fact that we didn't have our engines person in that room. I probably want to get my clone bay all the way up just so that for the flagship phases I can very, or phase one particularly where I'll be boarding, I can just very rapidly clone my borders. Do that. I particularly feel like I have more power than I normally do because of course I've got an extra Zoltan in addition to everything else. And since in most fights I'm just putting one power in weapons, which the Zoltan in that room is already providing. But like this is good. Go here and then circle around the exit. We will once again probably dive in this sector. Refuse, give me a fight. I think here I do actually want to use my weapons. I'd like to knock that breach missile offline and I'm not guaranteed to do that. This ship is that same model we fought before that has loads and loads of crew. Get out of there. Sadly, missed, but whatever. Are you kidding? You go ahead and cloak. You can't cloak my borders. things up. Can we kill these guys quickly and stop them firing the missile? Apparently they still have somebody over there, Drat. Well, got a breach missile coming in at us unfortunately because we didn't realize that. Oh no, my borders are stranded on your ship, whatever will they do? NG go start fixing that. Yeah, that was annoying. I couldn't find the last crew member in time. It's the downside of not having cloaking is, you know, hacking works for a very, very long time, but it doesn't work indefinitely. And against these late game slug ships, they just have so many crew. You go and help fix that. You guys come back. Get vented. You don't need to be vented.
We don't need to count for the door hack. Those doors gonna close before they run out. No, but we might be able to snipe him. Yep. And now the doors close. At this point, I just want power. And hopefully we hit a repair station in Sector 8. We could do it without, though. We just need to watch our drones. We might, If we didn't manage to hit a repair station, we'd probably just need to go straight to the base so we didn't run out of drones. This dive looks like it's going to be a little bit disappointing. Very. Um, teleporter gives you a crew member and scrap. Long range scanners only gives you... Okay, bye NG. We get a fully trained slug pilot. Since we don't have mind control counter, having that is very valuable. We are going to score farm. We'll jump to the exit first, and then we'll go to that fight and dive. Hooray! Give me another beacon explored. Oh, we just vent you two. We don't even need to pay attention to them. Keep the doors locked so we can get a point of damage on it before they even come in. Good, that's down. Only problem is here, I want to board with all f four of my Mantis, but I can't because of the uh, maintaining door control, so let's go and punch these guys. Now we board with them. No fixing. I actually want you to go through. Here, just... Vent these guys. These two don't even need venting. They're fine. Give me more power. So, we've got a nebula dive, that's not dangerous. For this fight, we'll actually pull out our pike beam. We don't want to waste bombs on a dive in a nebula. We do want to spend a hacking drone though, because we don't want them shooting that missile at me. If I can take that missile down, I'll stick around and fight this ship, otherwise we just leave. 
Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to. That'll slow down my weapon charge. Yeah, let's get out of here. We'll kill these humans at our leisure. Get our small bomb out again. Okay, we've got a repair station that's fairly easy to get to. We just need to not have it taken over on the first jump. So let's go there. Um, we don't need all our shields here unless they hack them actually, so let's find out whether they're going to do that. No, not our missile artillery. The uh, main effect actually of that is that it our our secondary boarding team have to smash through some doors to get to the teleporter. You get in there and don't let them fix it. Kill the repair drone. No getting the missile back. We've turned away a lot of crew in this run, but that often happens in boarding runs. Uh, these two are both fine, actually. You get 25 passive healing from our level 3 Columbia. Buy more power. Is that still there? Yes, it is. Good. Power. Ugh, fast missile. Is that an anti person? Is that a ion intruder drone? I think it is. It's an ion intruder drone. How annoying. It's also landed near my teleporter, which could delay my backup team. I don't care about them ionizing most of the stuff in here, but I do care about that. Okay, my bomb missed. Let's try to hit this with the conventional weapons and fail. It is in fact in there, so let's get in here. We might take some missiles in this because our weapons have just missed repeatedly. Like there. Well, you know, we've got 48% evade. It didn't work, but we do have it. Break that door down, please. Maybe our small bomb can ever hit. Hooray! Ah, that was just too slow. The big problem with not being able to get cloaking is late game low power missiles are very, very difficult to get offline. You know, in the early game you can just take up think you can take missiles offline by just, you know, hitting up weapon system with one bomb. But at this point in the run. Wow, we took damage from fire there. I'm really not paying much attention here.
Let's maybe get this fixed before all, all our people suffocate. Like, it doesn't matter because we have backup DNA bank, but they'll lose crew skill. And for my other crew, that actually matters. For my boarders, well, they can just die over and over again. We now have maxed reactor. Our crew doesn't really have anyone who's good at fighting fires or breaches, so... Since we got rid of the NG. go there and then go to the base. We don't want to take too many fights beforehand because... Have we correctly identified the base? We're not going towards it because I'm not really paying that much attention at the moment I feel like and I don't want to lose the streak because I've gone to the wrong place or something stupid like that. Okay, good. This time they don't repeatedly dodge our small bombs, so... Okay, we got rid of the only weapon we care about. Now we get rid of the crew... And we win. And yes, I am jumping towards the base. I'm just way ahead of the flagships. That's why this sector has been laid out quite weirdly. And I, I got paranoid that maybe I was going to the wrong spot. Let's get my doors up, I guess. What do I need to do that? I guess since we're way ahead of the flagship, we might as well take an extra jump. It's weird, the flagship seems to have spawned further away from the base than it normally does. Or maybe it's just the path is strange and has forced it to take a longer route. Hmm, what do I do here? I can take the backup battery. I guess we do that. Fight the rebel. Vent you. I guess this would have been useful for having doors upgraded, but whatever. You guys go help my little... Come help. Double reward. You two don't even need cloning. Actually, you do. You're not quite going to be at full health. There we go. I suppose I probably should have up sensors instead of doors. Because sensors could be useful in phase one when my borders are away and therefore there's nobody in there. But on the other hand, I kind of know what's going to be happening over there anyway. Um, do we just go intercept them? I think we do that. That way we can reset any bad hacks. Although really, I'm not sure what hack I would need to reset. Is 
So, flagship early. Hacking my hack is kind of annoying. I think I'll reset that since I have, because that will that will take the lock off my off the missile artillery. That is quite frustrating. So let's jump back to here. That's fine, we have backup DNA bank. side rooms. Okay, missile artillery is down. They're gonna cloak and probably fix it while they're under cloak, but it's fine. We'll be able to put another bomb off on them hit them with more stuff, their ions will be smashed by then. Come on back. Yeah, they're gonna get one point of repair on it, and then we immediately do that. We don't need all these shields right now. Like, they're gonna periodically hack that, that Columbe, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, come on in, preserve the lock on the door. Ah, we couldn't snipe that guy with the bomb. We get these two, though. I mean, this hack is mildly annoying, because it does delay me getting reinforcements, even though, you know, it's, it's not completely disastrous the way it would be if I, uh... Can we get that guy before he gets through? No. It's not completely disastrous the way it would be if we didn't have backup DNA back. It also slows my crew down in terms of getting out of the room. both gonna die. Let you two in. Oh, I did that too early. Whatever. These two will die now. Are you kidding? They got out just in time. No, oh, no, only one of them did. Well, it's fine then. Murder this person at 2v1. Got you this time. Kill this fool. So, their crew are all dead. 
shields, master shields. And let's just kill them fast now. Whole beam. And one more volley like that, and they're dead. So we didn't take any damage in that phase. We did go in with some damage on us, so we're not at max hit points. But whatever. And now the small bomb, which has carried us throughout this whole run, it can now go into retirement, and these final two phases, we will just kill the flagship as rapidly as possible. This is particularly important when you don't have cloaking, although... We do have very, very, you know, we've got level four, level 8 shields and very high dodge. So there's a possibility we could get through Drone Surge. But the Drone Surge in Phase 2 is very, very dangerous. It can just roll crap loads of combat drones. It, it's seven drones and it just rolls them randomly. So it could be all combat drones. And if it does that, no amount of, um, of shields and evade is going to protect you from taking damage. So you just want to end the fight quickly. Hence why I have flak and double beams for this. You two getting missiles. Hack shields. Secondary team will fight the boarding drone. Um, since I don't kill them on a one-shot anyway, I'm gonna whole beam like this so that I make sure to get the missile down. I don't think I needed to do that, but whatever. Running them in here even though I'm shooting at that with my flak. They're fine, they'll get clumped. They never even got a drone surge off. final phase they will mind control someone we will definitely get tagged by missiles here because like we don't have any way to get through the we don't have any way to get through the um the zolt shield with our borders we don't have any way to cloak so they will get to fire some missiles at us but these weapons should take down the zolt shield relatively quickly and once we do that they're dead Go after them, we don't care if our crew are at full health. Our door guy gets mind controlled. Let's go and murder them. Level 3 mind controlled mantis is kind of terrifying to deal with, but. Yeah, they're doing 15 hit points per tick of damage on us. But now they're dead. Wow, triple dodge. Let's actually use my backup my uh my backup battery for the first time in the foot. Mantis go fight fires. Damn it, they knocked one of my beams down. Okay, forget fighting fires. Just go and fix that. Try to take that down. How annoying.
Let's kill that fool. Zoltan dying took my other flak down. That's extremely irritating. We're gonna take another missile surge because of that. Nice dodging. Unfortunately, that was nice dodging on both sides. And they hit my weapons again. But it's fine. We're gonna do this. Actually, is it this that is our max damage shot? We might just kill here and we might not. But whatever, they are dead on the next flak flak hole volley. I don't know what's on fire, the sensor room, I guess. Still, so, we win. That is 14 in a row. We are halfway to the cycle. And Fed C, my worst win rate ship, is out of the way. I think we are going to have quite a good score on this run because we were very, very heavily upgraded. Yeah. 6,400. That's a very, very solid score. Um, Beacons Explored is relatively low, but we got early long-range scanners, and we just took fight after fight after fight, and since we were crew-killing basically all of them other than auto-scouts, I don't know that there was a single fight in that run that, if we had the option to crew-kill, we didn't do that. So we made a lot of scrap. So that was a really good win. Glad to have Fed C out of the way, and glad to be halfway to the cycle. Who are we playing next? 3, 2, 1, go! Castro Light. Okay, well, that killed one of our streaks back a few weeks ago, but uh, it's generally a very reliable ship. So, um, I will see you uh, for the next run, and I hope you enjoyed Fed Sea. Bye for now.